Good morning and happy Make It Happen Monday. Let's talk about this new trend going around, hashtag quietly quitting. It makes no sense to me. Quietly quitting means that you're doing just a- The youngest millennial, by the way. Enough to get by, to pay your bills and have just enough left over because you don't want to do extra work. Let me tell you something. When I was growing up, you know how what you know what we did? We did whatever it took. You get out what you put in. So if you're putting in just the minimal amount, you're only going to get back the minimal amount. So when you want to go buy that new car or that new house <clears throat> or whatever. New house, new car. My man, who are you talking to? Who's buying a new house, dude? Like, which implies the existence of old house. Okay? New house implies the existence of old house that you're upgrading from how about a house what the fuck bro what's funny about this is like this generation is so far removed from home ownership that motherfuckers canceled me for months over home ownership okay they were like it is such an unimaginable abundance of wealth that you must have that you hassan were able to purchase a home Okay, they literally were like, what? <laughs> you bought a home at the age of 30? Whatever it is, don't quietly quit. Do something more. Go that extra mile. That's when I saw the hashtag work smarter, not harder, I thought he meant like literally don't work as hard. Like, Because if you're talking about work smarter, it means like, yeah, get paid. Work as much as you're, you know, work as much as they're paying you. You know what I mean? And, and fucking leave your job as immediately start networking. If you have another like way to get a, a better job opportunity, move on to another job. Those are the motherfuckers that make more money because they keep, they constantly job hop. I was so mad when I was at the Young Turks, nepotism, Andy, getting paid fucking like literally the federal minimum wage or not federal California state minimum wage. Okay. Because my compensation method revolved around uh, potential, uh, potential uh, uh, commission that of course was never going to happen because I was fucking 23 years old and like literally setting up the entire advertisement operations for the company. Um, I, all these other dudes would just like, like they would get hired over me, you know what I mean? Because they had they were the same age, but they had more job experience from outside the company. So then they would get like better fucking uh they would get like better wages, better compensation than me. I'm like, motherfucker, I've been here. So even in a nepotism job, you're not getting fucking paid for for uh loyalty to the company, okay? It's not a thing. Like it's just not happening. Well, nepotism job at your uncle's 26 person. Uh, nepotism job at your uncle's 26 person uh, startup so it's a little bit different than you know, the good kind of nepotism but yeah the real way to like actually make a lot of money is by uh, job hopping if you can do that Job experience? Is your uncle that's the experience? What do you mean job experience? I'm talking like multiple years into working at the company. It doesn't work that way. And you still got fired? Dude, it was the greatest thing. What are you talking about? Look at this. I have 33,000 people at, at six hours into my fucking live news broadcast. You know what I mean? I think like, I think I'm doing all right. That's the funniest part about like, that's how I can immediately clock a boomer when they're like, bro, your uncle made you. It's like, bro, what do you mean? Like, I've been on my own since 2020 at this point. And I'm doing eight you know, infinitely, like unimaginably better on my own than when I did at the Young Turks.